All right, so this is a question that I see thrown out all the time on my channel and people want to know, how do I turn my pink hydrangeas blue? Well, I got a question this morning and I just couldn't help but to come out here and answer it for you. I love these hydrangea questions and this one comes from Marsha Hoffer, somebody that I've known for years, but I haven't seen her in years and she just found me on YouTube. So the question goes, Hi Mike, I just watched your video about hydrangeas not blooming. I tried Epsom salt on them last year and all my hydrangeas turned the same color of pink. This was a disappointment to me because I had chosen flowers of different colors. I don't know if they will go back to the original color in the future, but this year they have been neglected. The foliage is beautiful, but not as many flowers yet. I am going to try the bone meal or compost. My question to you is, could the color of my hydrangea change because of using the Epsom salt or just a coincidence? All the hydrangeas I used the Epsom salt on turned pink. I had baby blue, lavender, green, and purple. Epsom salt is wonderful for tomato plants. It isn't supposed to be good for squash, but I didn't read about that until after I used it on them. I had probably 50 zucchini and crookneck squash on each plant exclamation point. So I really appreciate your question, Marsha. And once again, it's good to hear from you. But let's talk about the Epsom salt first. There's a kind of a two part thing going on here. So the Epsom salt, I've never heard that it's not good for squash. I think it's good for just about any plant. And in fact, my dad uses it on all his garden vegetables, including squash, and he gets tons of squash every year. And I've experimented with Epsom salt on my squash in my garden, and I get lots of squash every year. So wherever you read that, I don't know, I'd go check that one out again, but keep using Epsom salt. As far as your question about the hydrangea goes, is the reason that it turned pink because of the Epsom salt? And the answer is no. That's not why it turned pink. I don't know uh, all the facts going on here about your hydrangea, but uh, you know, if you just recently purchased them, and I'm gonna give you a little story here, backstory. Um, if you just recently purchased them, then, and they were growing in a nursery in a pot, then chances are they're gonna be pink. They, when they're grown in a nursery in a pot, they have to specifically fertilize them to turn them blue because the potting soil tends to be more alkaline and you need acidic soil to turn them blue. So when it comes to the color of hydrangeas, the pH is what is the top dog. That's the master controller, the pH of the soil. That's what's gonna make them blue or pink. And that little backstory I was talking about is this. So a couple years ago, I made a hydrangea propagation video. It was the first one I made, and a lot of you have seen it. If you haven't, I'll put a link in the description below. But I got those cuttings at a nursery on the Oregon coast, just outside of Tillamook, and they had a beautiful hydrangea growing, and it was just a deep blue. And I said, I want that hydrangea. I want that blue color. And if you remember, I took the cuttings, I brought them home, I stuck the cuttings in pots, got them all rooted, and then the next year they flowered, pink and if you've been following me for a long time I made videos about that and I showed you the pink hydrangea well long story short I went back to the Oregon coast for a vacation this year just a few weeks ago and I talked to the I think she was the owner of the nursery I didn't ask her but it was one of the ladies I've seen around there for a long time and I said, hey, can I take some more cuttings off your hydrangea? And I did, she was cool with it. I took some cuttings, brought them home. I've got them sitting in a pot right now trying to root. But what she told me, cause I said, that hydrangea is a beautiful pink, or sorry, it's a beautiful blue. And she said, well, look at all these hydrangeas around you. And I was in the nursery area and all the pots had lots of pink hydrangeas. They were all pink. And she goes, I got all of these as cuttings off of that hydrangea. And when I take the cuttings and I pot them up for sale, they're always pink. She said, they really don't turn blue until you get a good acidic, you know, low pH soil going and you've got your hydrangea planted in it for a few years. She said, but if you, if you just plant them out in your landscape, mulch real well, eventually they'll turn blue. Well, I thought that was so interesting that she took all her cuttings. She proved what I had proved several years earlier. She took all her cuttings off of a deep blue hydrangea and all of the cuttings that were growing in pots were all pink. And it really has everything to do with the pH of the soil. So to answer your question, my guess is you recently in the last couple of years bought those hydrangea. They were in pots, 
the potting soil was more alkaline and so they turned pink. You can absolutely turn them blue. You just need to make the soil pH more acidic. How do we do that? Well, there's a few different ways. You can add sulfur to the soil, which by the way, Epsom salt contains sulfur in it. That's one of the components, so that will help a little bit. Um, you can actually go to a nursery and you can buy fertilizer that's formulated for acid-loving plants, and that will help bring the pH down. And in fact, I think they've got fertilizers there that will that are more acidic that will turn your hydrangea blue. But we'll talk about this in a second. It doesn't happen overnight. The other thing you can do is just be patient and give it time. The thing about landscape plants like hydrangeas is they do prefer a more acidic soil. And after you plant them in your landscape, you'll notice like people who have old hydrangeas that have been growing in the landscape for a long time, not always, but usually they will have blue hydrangeas. And it's because over time when you mulch the ground, a lot of carbon mulches like bark and wood chips and things like that break down slowly and so they become more fungally dominant and when you have four more fungally dominant soils uh, it tends to make the soil more acidic the fungus does bacterially dominated soils from like compost is more uh, alkaline but the the fungally dominated soils become more acidic and so when you see landscape plants that have been there for years and they've mulched them or leaves have fallen, lots of carbon material and it breaks down more slowly and fungal strands and fungal tunnels have become to develop and form all throughout the soils, they're more acidic on the pH scale. And so those hydrangeas will naturally just be blue. So that goes along with what I was saying we're gonna get back to and that's time. So everybody wants their blue hydrangeas right now. But the truth is, it's gonna take time. Even if you buy a soil acidifier or you go find something that's gonna, you know, a bag of a special potion that's gonna turn them blue, it might take a season or two. That soil has to acidify first. The roots have to soak up the nutrients it needs and then the plants gotta grow and give off the flowers. And that takes time, it takes a season or two. That's just all there is to it. So nothing you do immediately that I know of is gonna turn them blue. It's gonna take a, a year or two. And after all that, I am tired, but uh, I drank a lot of coffee this morning. So, you know, <laughs> what can I say? So to sum it all up, Marsha, Yes, keep adding Epsom salt to your soils, but not too much. You may not even need to add it every year. And number two, you got to have acidic soil to get the blue hydrangeas. You can do it with store-bought stuff, but it might take a little bit of time. Or you can just keep mulching your landscape bed. And over time, it really should turn more acidic on its own. And you'll get the blue hydrangeas, but it's going to take some time. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, hit the like button. Subscribe if you want to follow along and see more fantastic gardening videos. Have a fantastic week, and I'll see you in the next video. Adios.